Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more TDC 2019. Now, if you've seen my uh, last video, um, which was the Lodge at Beaver Dam, uh, this is the second video uh, from the 24 hour stream. You had a Victory Lane Sports and Mayday 91283 um, doing a 24 hour sport just to sort of get the community together with all the, the shit that's happening in the world at the moment. Everybody seems to be staying in uh, at home and things, so. Just a 24 hour stream, get the community together, get something done. And what they did was a 24 hour stream, build a tour worthy course from scratch and publish within 24 hours. So as I said, this is the second one and this is des fois par jour. And translated that means twice a day. So here we go, the fairways are normal, the greens are normal, the green speed is fast. Uh, we're going to be playing off the white tees, 7,488 yards, pin set number one, and let's get going. Now, the last course as well, I mean, sometimes it takes these guys weeks, if not months, to do a really, really nice course. So you're not going to have, like, all the eye candy and, and things like that. So we'll, we'll have just a quick sort of run around, and then we'll get down to playing the course. As you see, this a uh, Swiss-themed course with the sort of ice-capped mountain backdrops there and the very large pine trees. So let's just have a quick, tell you what, let's have a quick look at the plot and see what we've got here. And you've got a big sort of lake right down there. And and here's his clubhouse. As I said, 24 hour stream, so not much to look at with the clubhouse there. But this is all, as I said, this was just all for the community just to get the guys together. Okay, so we'll come down this first hole here, all the way downhill. I do like the sort of terrain that he's got. All the nice little sort of humps and bumps. And he's got some nice planting down either side of the fairway there as well. It looks like you've got like a, a little sort of river just going down that direction, feeding back into the lake, or it's feeding out of the lake, one of the two. So as I said, just a quick, quick jump around the course, then we'll get back up to the first tee and we'll get this started. So it looks pretty nice. Looks like we're gonna have a nice sort of misty sort of look to the course as well. Like a very early morning. Yeah, I like the looks of this. So let's head back up towards the first tee and we'll get this started. I mean, typically I don't usually publish two courses in one day, but since since the guys did a 24 hour stream, did two courses between them, I thought, why the hell not? I'll just jump on, get both videos done, quickly bang them out and get them up. A little bit of recognition for the guys that just spent 24 hours doing a stream. <laughs> I couldn't do it. That'd kill me, that would. Oh. Right, so let's get started. Okay, du fois par jour, hole one, 577 yards, par five. Okay, we've got the driver here, nine mile an hour wind against this. And we get a nice, perfect, perfect, right down the middle. Quite a lengthy par five, but that wind against us, I don't know if we're gonna reach the green two. Okay, 286, so it's actually playing about 266. Uh, I'm gonna go down here with the two wood. Not a bad line, actually. Oh, we hit so slow. That's me being so used to hitting fast all the time. I'm trying to slow my swing down just a little touch now. I think I slowed it down a little bit too much there. So that's just ran off into the first cut. Okay, 28, five yards up. And we'll go with, yeah, we'll go with that flop shot. That should be okay. Okay, let's see what the speed of the greens are. 168, so that's not too bad. And we start off with the birdie, nice one. K hole two, 473 yards, par four. As you see, there's no stroke index, as these were published for only about an hour or so ago from me playing it, actually, so. But when you get to see it, yeah, it'll probably be a few hours that have been out. Okay, it takes a turn around to the right here. Got a dog leg to the right. 
pins right at the front of the green. Sort of protected by them two bunkers as well. Uh, we should be good. We should be able to just cut this corner a little bit here. And that's what I'm on about. I keep getting fast. And every time I try to slow the swing down a little touch. Oh, I think it's going to hold though. Just held on. See, that feels like my normal swing, but it's way too fast for the downswing for some reason. Don't know why. Okay, 174, 16 down. So it's playing around about 169. So let's put a little bit of loft on that. Okay, that was a nice strike. That's heading right towards the pin. And that'll do lovely. It sets up for another nice little birdie putt. Turn. Oh, thought I was going to miss that there. Okay, hole three, 163 yards, par three. As we're coming around the sort of lake here. Okay, 160, so it's playing 161. Uh, we have got the eight ions, so we're going to put a bit of loft on this. Oh shit, yep, I felt that in my swing. That was all down to me. <laughs> oh, is it going to come back? Come on. Oh, yes. Nice. That's going to head down towards the pin. Oh, that actually played out better than I thought. That should actually set us up for a nice little birdie putt. Ooh, didn't think we were going to get away with that there. Okay, hole four, 366 yards, part four. Okay, pretty short part four. Now, as you can tell, like around the shoreline here of the lake, usually when these guys take the time, it's a lot better planted around the lakes and stuff like that. Like I said, 24 hours is not a long time to, to bring out a really nice course, but I think they've done a cracking job. Okay, we can get right across here. We'll probably just make it onto the edge of the green, I reckon. As long as I didn't hit slow, and we didn't, so that should be okay. I hope. Okay, just reached the green. And I'm kind of hoping it does trickle off. Yeah, it does. There we go. Just trickled off onto the fringe because that would have left a pretty nasty putt. We'll go for a little chip here instead. Okay, 16 yards, two feet up. We'll drop that down to there. We'll drop it down to the sand wedge. That should be enough, I think. That should be okay. Now we should still come away with a birdie here. That's a pretty short par four. We're off to a flying start. K hole five for 439 yards par four. There's some really nice planting on this hole. Okay, you got that one solitary little tree there, right on the fairway. It shouldn't come into play though. We've got plenty of room on the left hand side of it. Okay, driver again. That's a nice view off this tee. There we go, that's better, right in the centre of that top mark. It looked like it just caught the, the first cut there. Bounding down the fairway, nice big drive, 317 yards. Okay, 132, 26 up, so it's playing around about 141. So we're going to be good with the pitching wedge, we'll put a bit of loft on it because of that wind. Now, have I put enough loft on it, though? That's the thing. Oh, could have done with a little bit more. That's just going to catch. Is it going to come off? I think it is, yep. Okay, I'm going to putt this. and putt just off the, the fringe. And it's five yards, which is what? Oh, 16 feet, three inches up. Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, the thing with putting off the fringe as well, the ball actually just shoots off the fringe pretty quick. So we'll take the part out. K hole six, 573 yards, par five. So it looks like we've got a slightly downhill here, dog leg round to the left. Again, nice planting all that in between the trees. It's that lovely looking approach shot down this one. Yeah, all down here. Really nice planting he's done around here. Okay, drive up. Let's just try and smash one down that. Oh, and we hit another fast. God damn it. And it's caught the rough. Yep, yeah, it's really annoying though. I mean, that swing that I just hit there, that's usually how I get my perfect perfects. I mean, you've been playing this game long enough, you know what you're hitting. And to me, it just it, it just feels off at the moment for some reason. Go smack a two with down here. Yeah, like that swing now, that just felt really slow. I got quite a good distance off that, so that's going to leave us a little pitch up to the green. Sixty-six was so playing sixty-four. We'll go down to the sixty-three. We'll put a bit of loft on it as well. And we have bloody slow, but that should be okay. Now it sets up for a nice little birdie putt. I'll tell you what I've been playing now as well is State of Decay 2. They, they brought out a huge update for it, you know, Juggernaut Edition. And if you already had State, uh, State of Decay 2, the big update is for free. It's like a big expansion, but they've, they've totally updated the whole game graphics wise, sound wise, light, and everything. I'm really enjoying it, getting back into it. They've sorted out quite a lot of the bugs because it was a bit of a buggy mess. Okay, 216, 31 down, so it's playing 206. We've got 211, the 5 hybrid, 194. I think this is the club we'll go with. A little bit of down loft. Now, I did aim it right at the pin there because it looked like the green was going to feed it round. And it has. There we go. That's going to come down lovely. Beautiful. Lovely shot that was. That sets us up for a nice little birdie putt again. Okay, hole 8, 451 yards, part 4. And as you can see, that sort of misty light just coming through here. Again, lovely planting. Even though, as I said, they just hammered this course out in 24 hours. Holes like this just look really, really nice. Oh, two wood, don't want that. Get up to the dry bar. There we go, we should be able to cut this corner just a little touch. Hopefully it doesn't hit that tree. Come on, get past the rough. Oh, crap. Is it going to make it? Oh, yes, it made it. Nice one. That should just hit over 300 yards. Just managed to cut that corner. Okay, 144, 20 up, so it's playing around about 150 or 151. We're good with the 9 iron there. A little bit of loft on it. How's the lie? Downhill lie. Put a little touch more loft on it because of that. Oh, it looks like it's staying out to the right. It did. Oh, and that's going to trickle off the back. Yep. Could have put another bit of loft on it. When you're hitting on a downhill slope, it seems to add a lot more distance to the, to the ball as well. OK, 
Okay, at least we're going to pick up the par here. Hole 9, 451 yards, par 4. Okay. Got two big bunkers on the right hand side there. It's just as the fairway takes that little turn around there. Up towards the clubhouse. And we should be good to aim around about there. Just let the wind bring it back round onto the fairway for us. Lovely. Right in the middle. Okay, 173. 18 up. That's playing around about 179. I think we'll go with the 6 iron. We'll put some loft on it. Oh shit. That's going to pull around left and add a bit more distance. So that's going to go, go off the back. That leaves us a little chip up. And hopefully we'll stay, still pick up the par. That's going to leave us a nice little tap in. Okay, front nine finished. Minus six, not too bad. Okay, hole 10, 479 yards, par four. Again, nice sight lines off the tee there. Gets to the top of the crest, just takes a little turn and then downhill towards the green. Got the wind against us here, seven mile an hour. That should be absolutely perfect. Yeah, he's done a great job with the light in here as well. Okay, 188, 35 down. So it's playing around about 176. No, what am I saying 176? Yeah, yeah, about 176. So 183, with a six iron. That should be good with that wind. I'll put a tiny, tiny little touch of loft on it. Oh, we hit so fast. That actually worked out not too bad, even though it pulled it around to the left a bit because you hit it fast. And that's a pretty straightish putt. Oh, it's just missed on the right hand side. I kind of pushed that a little bit to the right. I turned the controller a little touch there. I usually do it when I've got a pretty straight putt. Or oh, that happens. That's my normal putt line. I pull every, all my putts I pull to the left. Okay, hole 11, 446 yards. Par four. Okay, one bunker there on the left hand side. Fairway thins down a little bit, but it should be okay. We'll probably get over the top of this bunker, I think. Oh yeah, plenty of room down there. That uh, seems a bit better. Getting my drives back. Okay, 305 yard drive. Nice approach to the green here. 142, 24 up. So it's playing around about 149. So we'll go up to the 148 with a 9 iron and just a tiny, tiny touch of down loft there because we're on a sort of a downhill slope as well. Oh shit. It seems to be my approach shots quite a lot with the irons. I'm just hitting that fast. Okay, 20 feet, 4 inches up. And we just missed it on the right hand side. 
but there'll be another little tap in for the par. K hole 12, 548 yards, par 5. Okay, let's have a look, see where we can see the pin, see if we can reach this in two. Okay, the pin is kind of over to the left hand side of the green here. So if we can get down to the right hand side of the fairway, we probably could make it. Oh, but look at this, it sort of just thins down as we get up to here. So we are kind of over on this right hand side. Not a bad drive, 312 yards. Okay, 235, so it's playing 232. 226, that should be okay, you know, I reckon. We'll go for it. Wow, even though we're on a bit of a slope there, that nine mile an hour, that didn't have to kick off to the right as soon as I came off the club head. But we're on a green for two. It leaves us a putt for an eagle, but we'll probably just try and get it close to the hole and go for the bar there, to the birdie. If it drops, then, as I always say, that's a bonus. Okay, 37 feet, five inches up. Everyone's turning right to left here. Go on. Oh, oh, that'll do. We'll take the birdie. K hole 13, 179 yards, par three. Nice looking little par three, this one, slightly downhill. Again, you got the, the light coming over from the right hand side there, you got the long shadows just coming over. Looks very nice. Okay, 179, 34 down, so it's playing around about 168. We'll go down to the 160 since we've got that wind and we're gonna put some loft on it as well. Uh, that should be not too bad. That should come back a little bit. Oh, is it gonna stop there? Yeah, nice little par three, that one. Okay, hole 14, 496 yards, par four. Now, at least this one takes a turn around to the left and then uphill towards the green. As we come down the side of the lake here on the right hand side, you've got one bunker there on the right hand side as well. Really nice planting all the way up the left here. Pin looks like it's at the front of the green. Oh, look at this. Oh, I think I might drop down, you know. Let's drop down to the two wood. Now we hit a fast step, but it's eight mile an hour wind. I'm kind of hoping that wind pushes it back. And we get a nice kick as well. That push right in the center of the fairway. So it's quite a lengthy par four. So we're going in here. Woof, what's that? 216. I was playing round about, round about 230, 226. Now this might actually come up short. If I go with the five, but it's way too much. I think this might come up short. So I'm going to down loft it a touch. Oh, that is tracking well, but is it going to make it? No, yeah, just as I thought. Quite a big uphill slope there at the front of the green. I probably could have been better just going with the, the two wood, you know, and going to the back of the green, but that's going to leave us a nice little, either a little flop or a pitch sharp, and that's still rolling down the hill. Bloody hell, that's a big hill. Look at it going. <laughs> it's come to a stop. Okay, 43, 28 up, so it's playing around about oh, 52. So I'm actually going to go with the pitch. 52, so we'll put a bit of loft on that. Okay, 
And that worked out. Oh, oh, I was going to say that worked out quite nice, but it got a little bit of spin on it there. I thought that was going to come back. Oh, around the back door and in. That was for a par. Okay, hole 15, 530 yards, par 5. Again, great view of this tee here. And it looks like we're hitting over the water for our approach shot. We should reach a green in two. It's only 100, 530 yards. Oh, crap. Another fast. Oh, no. Come on. Kick, 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 kick. Shit. Kick. Go on. <laughs> that was lucky. Nice little bounce there. Okay, 182, playing 181. Oh, that very thin green. 172. That should do it, I think. That still might be a bit too much. Oh, is it going to come back? Come on. No, it's going to stay that. A little bit more loft on it. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Don't want that. I want a chip. Hold on. Oh, we're on the green fringe. Chip, there we go. Do you know what? I could probably actually. I'm going to put this. So, what is it? It's what? Ooh, 14 feet 3 inches down. As I said, when you put off the fringe, it usually shoot off the fringe pretty quick. So that was just a tiny little tap there. Oh, and it just came up a little bit short. But we'll take the par. <clears throat> K-Hog 16, 447 yards, par 4. Again, nice planting around the T area here. Bit of a blind shot up and over the crest. That should be absolutely bang on. Okay, it's nearly 4 a.m. here, so depending how long this takes to upload, I don't know if I will actually get it published tonight. I might have to wait for the morning. Okay, 151. Um, so it's playing 149. Let's put a bit of loft on that. And that worked out not too bad. Now hopefully we'll pick up the birdie. And we do. Nice one. K hole 17, 487 yards. Par 4. What a great looking hole this one is. Great view off the tee. That wind should just bring it right back into the fairway for us. Lovely. 310 yard drive. This par 4 is quite a long par 4. 487. We're going in there with a, a 6 iron. 183, 41 up. <clears throat> so it's playing around about, about 197. I'll make that. So I'm going to go with a 5 iron, but we're going to put some loft on it. And come on, turn. That's turning nice. Oh, that's not bad at all from that. Oh, I turned right at the end. Two inches down. And it's still going. Come on, ball. Slow up. That should have been a birdie. Hopefully we'll get the save here. 
I'm going to save. Okay, final hole. It's a par three. Hole 18, 165 yards. Par three, uphill. Quite a big elevation change on this one. Okay, that's 55 up. So it's playing around about... Ooh. Around about 184, 183. Let's go up to there. I'm going to let it go with a 7 iron here. No, I'm going to go with a 6 iron. I'm going to put some loft on it. Oh, that's going to leave one hell of a nasty putt. I'm kind of hoping it actually goes off the back of the green here. It does. Nice. And there's the damn goats there. Just over to the left there of the green. Okay, 19 yards, two foot up. I am actually going to bring this down and we're going to flop this with quite a bit of loft on it. And that should set us up for a par, hopefully. And there you go. That was Dufois Par Jour. And that was by Mayday 91283. That's the second course. Again, guys, if you haven't watched the other course, which was the Lodge at Beaver Dam, give that a look. As I said, you got Victory Lane and Mayday. They did a 24 hour stream. Both of them did a course in 24 hours from scratch. Uh, just, to, just to kind of get the community together with all the shit that's happening in the world at the moment. Just to give them something to watch. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, give these two courses a play. Uh, really good job on it. And I'll catch us again next time.